In this example, we want to determine whether this series is converging or diverging. Um, and we're going to use the integral test. Okay, so there's three conditions that we need to check for before we use, um, before we can see if we can use the integral test. So first condition is that the function has to be positive. Okay. All right. So our function, okay, the function for this series, the function corresponding to this is going to be 1 over x squared plus 1. Okay, so the function here is positive. Okay, it's positive for particularly for the interval that we're interested in, going from 1 to infinity. Okay, because um, these are all, if you look in the denominator here, this is going to give us a positive value. Okay, for all x actually. Okay, so this is, so f of x is positive. Okay. Okay, f of x is positive, okay, for n, okay, for x bigger, bigger than or equal to 1. Next condition is that we have to see if it's continuous, okay, and this function is continuous because, again, looking at the denominator, um, that's there's uh, there's no possibility that the, that this can give us zero for any x, okay? Because we're working with real values here, so it is positive or it is continuous, okay? Okay, it's going to be continuous for the interval that we're interested in. Okay. Next thing is we need to show that this function is decreasing. Okay. Is it decreasing on 1 to infinity? That's what we need to show. Okay. Intuitively, we can see it's decreasing, uh, but you know we need to verify that more we need to come up with a more mathematical way of doing this and we're going to use the first derivative test okay all right to do this okay so we're going to take the derivative okay we're going to do that over here so the derivative of f is going to be okay using the uh, quotient rule we're going to get uh, minus let's see well the derivative top is zero and then times the bottom, which will be 2x, and then we're going to have the derivative of the bottom will be 2x times 1 divided by x squared plus 1 squared. Okay. So then from here, we need to find our critical numbers. Okay. So we set this equal to 0. Okay. So x is equal to 0 here. Okay. So Okay, so there's zero. So I'm going to pick the test point, pick a test point here, say at one, and then substitute back into the derivative. So f prime of one turns out to be, um, and this is negative here. Okay, because so of minus, so this turns out to be negative. Okay. All right. All right, so now. Okay, now we know, okay, this is, this is, the, so this function is positive on this interval, it's continuous on this interval, and it's decreasing. Okay, all right. So now, we're going to apply the, now we can apply the integral test, okay. Okay, so, we have our improper integral going from one to infinity. Those are your, that's where we're starting at. Okay. And we're taking the integral of one over x squared plus one. Okay. So this is an improper integral, which means that we need to take the limit of this as b approaches infinity going from one to b of 
Okay, let's put this here. So this was less than zero. Okay. All right. So this is going. To, we're going to take the limit of this of one over x squared plus one of the integral. Okay. Now. Okay, so this is the integral of this is is arc tangent. Okay. Okay, so this is going to give us this is arc tangent. Okay, so that means we have the limit. Okay, of arc tangent going from one to b. Okay, so we have arc tangent. Sorry, I'm getting a little sloppy there. Let's see, arc tangent b minus arc tangent of one. Okay. All right, so arc tangent of b as as b goes to infinity. So remember, arc tangent looks like. Okay. Let's sketch it over here. Okay, so we have, there's two horizontal asymptotes for our tangent. So there's one at pi over two, and there's another at negative pi over two. So the graph of it looks like this. Okay. All right. So as B approaches infinity, okay, this graph is getting closer and closer to pi over two. Okay. All right. So this is going to give us. So this is going to give us pi over two. And arc tangent of one is pi over four. Okay. So therefore, okay, we have. Right. This is going to give us the overall limit. It's going to be pi over two minus pi over four. And that's going to give us pi over four. Okay. All right, so therefore, because this is, because the integral is, the integral is converging, okay? All right, so the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x squared plus 1 is converging, right? It's going to pi over 4. So that implies, okay, that the series that we're given, the series, the infinite series, okay, 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared plus 1 converges, okay. So it's important to also note that the series, just because the integral is going to pi over 4, doesn't mean that's what the series is converging to, okay. So just a, just a note here, so note, okay. 1 over is not converging, right? It doesn't converge to pi over 4, okay? It's converging to some other value, okay? All right, okay? But we definitely know this is converging by this, uh, by applying the integral test.